okay so you wanted to start your video editing journey and a lot of people have been recommending use CapCut, use CapCut because it is free and easy to use especially for beginners now the question that pops up is what pc is going to be fluid with CapCut? what pc can you use to edit on CapCut and have the most seamless and smoothest experience now in today's video i'm going to show you the specs that CapCut requires your PC to have in order to edit your videos in CapCut with little or no bugs. So if you head to CapCut's official website slash resource slash CapCut for Windows and scroll a little bit down, we are going to see the requirements for CapCut for Windows. Now the first requirement is your operating system. CapCut specifies that you get Windows 10 or above to be able to edit using their software. The next we have is the processor. CapCut's recommendation is Intel Core i3 or above, but if you're looking forward to doing a lot of things, I'll recommend you start from Core i5 because that is going to help you a lot when you're editing. Next we have the memory, the RAM, right? Now, CapCut recommends 4 gigabytes, but let's be real here. Most computers these days, especially computers built for performance, don't come with four gigs so always get at least eight or if possible 16 or 32 gigabytes of ram to get the seamless out of your edits other applications will also benefit from this if your pocket is ready the next we have is your graphics now CapCut specifies intel hd graphics 4000 or above now to check your graphics all you have to do is press windows r on your keyboard type dx diag and hit enter now this is going to launch your direct x diagnostic tool where you simply click on the display tab and you're going to see your your graphics name there if you find intel hd graphics 4000 or above you are good to go and the last but not least thing CapCut recommends you should have is at least two gigabytes of storage but let's be real and practical here. If you're dealing with footage, sometimes your footage alone is more than two gigabytes. CapCut needs breathing space. So my recommendation would be to get at least 10 gigabytes of free storage on your device just for editing. That way CapCut will edit seamlessly and there will be no need for you to be deleting files after importing them and stuff like that. So if you found this video helpful and you've understood the requirements of CapCut for Windows, please subscribe to this channel and also leave a comment, give me suggestions about what you want to learn and if you're interested in getting started with CapCut, click on this video right here and you're good to go. Until next time.